Hello, and welcome to Introduction to Dental Microscopy, presented by the Academy of Microscope Enhanced Dentistry. This course will show you how and why dentists are using microscopes, why that number is growing, and why you should consider using the microscope. I'm Bill Linger. I'm a general dentist in Charlotte, North Carolina, and a member of AMED's Executive Board of Directors. I perform 100% of my dentistry through the microscope. I have no financial relationships with any company to disclose. So who is using microscopes in the United States? Mainly endodontists at 77%, followed by periodontists at 4%. And we see restorative dentists, prosthodontists, and oral surgeons all at less than 1%. So why should you use the microscope? because the microscope makes all of the important things you do in dentistry better. If we look at the four pillars of quality dentistry, they are magnification, illumination, communication, and ergonomics. The microscope is unmatched in its ability to provide the best of these four categories. Magnification, the microscope provides the highest level of magnification at both low and high level settings. The lens of the microscope is at least 10 times larger than that of loops. Now I started wearing loops in dental school years ago and back then there were a lot of skeptics about loops. Now the overwhelming majority of dental students have loops because we understand the importance of magnification in dentistry. The same kind of skepticism I heard about loops over 25 years ago is what I hear about the microscope now. One of the myths about the microscope is that high-powered loops are the same as the microscope. So for years I falsely assumed this. Because there was no information about microscopes at that time, I believed this myth that the magnification levels were based on that power number. When I first started with microscopes in my ops, I would check hygiene with my 4.5 power loops and the patients would come back for their restorative appointments. And I would think, find things with the scopes that I couldn't see with my loops. So if you think you have enough magnification, remember, the human hand can do much more detail than the human eye can see. Even at low level magnification, the microscope provides better image quality, depth of field, illumination, and visual acuity than the naked eye or loops. Why is that? First of all, your eyes are further away from the image with loops than with the microscope. Second, with loops, your eyes have to converge on one image through the loops. With the microscope, your eyes are not only closer to the optics, but each eye is looking at its own image through parallel magnification. And finally, the lens is closer to the subject. Here's a quote from the Journal of Neuro Neurosurgery on loops versus microscopes. Loops can overcome the bulk of a microscope, but are limited in their non-adjustable focus and low level magnification. Loops with increased magnification introduce the problem of stability because even slight movements of the surgeon's head will cause the surgical field to be out of focus. During a procedure, you can switch the microscope from a large field of view with low magnification to a small field of view with high magnification. This provides unmatched versatility to go from low to high magnification instantly with minimal effort without taking your eyes off the working field. And it's one of the major advantages that the microscope provides. So here we are at 12 and a half power magnification. We can easily go to 3.3 and back to 12 without moving the mirror, without taking our eyes out of the oculars and without putting down the handpiece. Again, here with endo, we can go from 3.3 power to 12.5 power. Imagine trying to do that with loops. This Seiler microscope has six different magnification lenses that go from 3.3 up to 21. Here are some quotes from a very well-known dentist regarding his acceptance of the microscope. 
I was a severe skeptic of microscopes for years. I understood for the first time the ability to perform delicate manual skills is more a function of visual acuity rather than of having good hands. The microscope allows me to see and do things I simply couldn't do before. And that's from Dr. Frank Spear in 2006. In 2012, the American Association of Endodontists released this position statement on microscopes and magnification. Clinical and fine motor skills are enhanced by the use of appropriate lighting and magnification devices that improve visual visualization of all aspects of the operative field. Your hands are not the key, it's your eyes. The AAE is now considering the position that microscopes are the standard of care for endodontics. Illumination is our second pillar. Illumination is vital to being able to use magnification. The microscope provides coaxial lighting. It's always where you need it and it doesn't need adjusting. A high level of light is needed for high magnification without excessive heat generation. This allows us to see things like fractures. At 12 and a half magnification, the depth of field is small but the lighting gives us a great view of the pulpal floor of the tooth. Our next pillar is communication. Why is communication a pillar of quality dentistry? Because the manner in which a doctor communicates information to a patient is as important as the information being communicated. Patients who understand their doctors are more likely to acknowledge health problems, understand their treatment options, and modify their behavior accordingly. With the microscope, patients can watch the exam in real time. They can watch the procedures while we work. All microscopes have a way to connect a camera and a video through internal op op optics or a beam splitter, and this allows for real-time video of the microscope view to be fed to these monitors. Modern digital cameras can record still images, as well as photos and videos. The ease of documentation is a key benefit of the microscope. You can take high quality videos or photos without stopping the workflow. From the beginning of the procedure, mid-procedure, you can take photos to communicate with the patient, afterwards to document things for insurance or for other educational purposes. We can document fractures or other conditions that may present mid-procedure. We see some occlusal decay and a suspicious sealant. We can document the procedure as we go. We can remove the sealant, see demineralized enamel, clean the enamel, and we can see the decay has perforated the enamel and infected the dent. This photo documentation done mid-procedure without interruption of the workflow is a key benefit. We don't have to say, oh, go get the camera, get the photo mirrors, move the microscope out of the way, take the photo. We just reach up and click the shutter on the camera. No extra flash is needed. The live video feed for the assistant is critical to provide the best support for us. This video feed allows our assistants to see what we see through the scope. This Siler scope has a focus that's easy for the assistant to adjust. The image is extremely clear. You can see the assistant watches the monitor. This also improves the ergonomics of the assistant to be able to see what we're seeing. As you can see, this is a clear image and it helps the assistant to get a really clear view to keep the mirror clean and to support us during the procedure. The fourth pillar is ergonomics. Ergonomics is the biggest benefit of the microscope and it's the most overlooked. Here's a quote from Dr. Juan Carlos Ortiz. The lack of ergonomics in dentistry is due to two particular situations, limited eye resolution capacity and work distances. 
Dentistry is a high-risk profession for musculoskeletal disorders. Studies from around the world show that most dentists, around 72%, suffer work-related musculoskeletal disorders. Dentists sit or stand in static postures for long periods of time that are pathologic. Neck, shoulders, and lower back are the most common problem areas. Occupational safety and health experts have developed a scientific approach to evaluating work positions and postures. This analysis allows us to grade the positions of the back, torso angle, neck, legs, arms, and wrists for potential for musculoskeletal pathology. Only the microscope allows you to achieve a neutral neck posture. So don't lean over and strain your neck. Let the microscope do that for you. This microscope lens can be angled with a rotating ring while keeping the head level and avoiding neck strain. Can you see the difference? Now the myth about ergonomics is that it's only for people with neck and back pain. The fact is ergonomics increases productivity by at least 25%. When we design a job to allow good posture, less exertion, fewer motions, and better heights and reaches, the workstation becomes more efficient. Ergonomics reduces costs. 33% of dentists retiring early do so because of musculoskeletal disorder. Ergonomic cost benefits have been proven by 59% reduction average of musculoskeletal disorders, 65% average reduction in incident rate, 75% reduction in lost work days, and a 68% reduction in workers' compensation costs and a 39% reduction in cost per claim, a 43% decrease in labor costs. Ergonomics improves quality. Poor ergonomics leads to frustration and fatigue, causing our performance level to drop. When job tasks are physically taxing, we may not perform the way we were trained, which creates a quality of work issue. Even an aesthetic can be done through the microscope. This is an area where I see dentists regularly struggle with ergonomics. So here's a short video showing what it's like to do anesthesia while working through the scope. Notice the neck posture, head position, back position. Very ergonomic and allows us to give our injections slowly and comfortably. So a myth about the microscope is that it slows you down and everything takes longer. But as we've learned, an efficient workstation is faster. Blind instrument passing is faster than traditional instrument passing. Eliminating the external visual noise makes your brain function better. My practice is focused on sedation. The microscope enables me to work quicker and more efficiently. As we learned earlier, an ergonomic workflow increases productivity by at least 25%. But the oculars block out visual noise. This allows you to hyper-focus and your brain doesn't have to process the extra information. Working through the microscope helps you focus because all this stuff is going on around you, taking up the resources of your brain, just like programs running in the background of a computer. External visual noise occupies your CPU. Even if you're not paying attention to it, your brain is. So another myth about the microscope is that it can't fit in an operatory. Ceiling mount is the best way to put a microscope in there. It easily fits in there and can replace the ceiling light. A microscope-centered practice has a microscope in every operatory, including hygiene. To set up the operatory, we have monitors on the wall for the assistant, which has the constant feed from the microscope video. We have the monitor in the rear for the practice software. We have a monitor on the ceiling for the patient to watch entertainment or watch the scope. We have the front wall monitor, which we can also switch between the computer, the TV, or for 
the second assistant to watch during six-handed dentistry. The four monitor setup through the use of splitters lets you send signals to multiple monitors, each one independently controlled. And you can integrate multiple sources of video from each monitor and greatly enables your versatility of communication with both your team and the patient. Another myth about the microscope is that you can't work on children with it. The pediatric dentistry is actually easier with the microscope. The kids can watch what's going on. It's less scary and they're more helpful. I really enjoy doing pediatric dentistry now because of the microscope. Oral surgery procedures can be done through the microscope. High magnification lets us perform minimally invasive extraction techniques for faster healing. Every procedure in dentistry can be done through the microscope. So you heard me say earlier that I do 100% of my dentistry through the microscope. The reason I do that is because I have to. 12 years ago, I suffered a herniated disc between C6 and C7. I woke up with severe pain and lost 50% of my right hand strength overnight. Surgical correction was done with microendoscopic discectomy. In two weeks, I re regained my strength, but my neurosurgeon told me, I'll get the disc off your nerve, but that won't fix your pain. You're gonna have to work differently. So that's why I'm so obsessed with ergonomics. We teach an ergonomics course in my office for AMED with Dr. Juan Carlos Ortiz. He's an endodontist from Panama, an AMED master, and also a certified ergonomics spe assessment specialist who literally wrote the book on microscope ergonomics. Juan Carlos offers an online course and he off also offers a two-day hands-on workshop every quarter in Charlotte, North Carolina. And we can show you how proper use of the microscope will allow you to achieve neutral positions in all areas. So whether your problem is neck pain, shoulder pain, arm pain, we can show you how the microscope will help correct these issues and let you work pain-free. Another course we offer is Microscope Basics. It's an online course designed to help shorten your learning curve towards using the microscope. We cover how to work on the lower arch, what the most common errors are and how to correct them, how to set up the microscope in the operatory, how to utilize four and six-handed dentistry. And this course also includes a one-on-one -on -one coaching for you and your assistant. You can sign up for this course on AMED's website. So I wanna thank you for joining me here on this course. If you need to reach out to me, you can do so here. And if you need to reach out to AMED, you can do so here, microscopedentistry.com. So I hope you consider adding the microscope to your armamentarium. Thank you.